my PhD thesis is on the inter, inter, um, so, <laughs> investigating the role of psychological interventions in inflammatory digestive system diseases. I am a certified psychologist working at the Division of Pancreatic uh, Diseases, and I'm also doing my vocational training as a health psychologist. My vision is that in Hungary, we can incorporate psychological help into healthcare, and uh, that can help us and uh, lead to shorter recovery time. For this vision, my mission is that to prove the importance of psychological help and provide bigger recognition of psychological help in, uh, help in healthcare. My specific goals for this mission and vision uh, um, leads me to three projects. And I will use different kinds of methodologies to reach these goals, uh, meta-analysis and, uh, and one clinical trial. So my first project is on the investigation investigating the efficacy and safety of psychological interventions in inflammatory digestive system diseases. 11% of the population suffers from chronic digestive system diseases, and we also know that psychological stress can negatively affect these gastrointestinal functions. Moreover, psychological interventions uh, can improve survival by 20% in outpatient and inpatient uh, population. Um, on the other side, there is no evidence-based psychological treatment or protocol, um, and it is needed for us to include uh, psychological help in healthcare, into healthcare. So our aim, based on these facts, is to um, evaluate the effect, efficacy and safety of psychological interventions in this subgroup, um, in this subpopulation. The critical question is that, are these are psychological interventions beneficial in these diseases, inflammatory digestive system diseases? Uh, the investigated population is patients receiving standard of care uh, with inflammatory digestive system diseases, and we will uh, compare psychological interventions to no uh, psychological interventions in the standard of care. Uh, we will take a look at the major outcomes as disease improvement and uh, other very important ones. Based on the hypothesis, uh, psychological interventions can improve the outcomes of these diseases. And what will we do with the results? Uh, we can provide uh, psychological help in daily practice and uh, that can help us to improve these diseases and have a shorter recovery time. Here you can see the systematic search and the details um, and the search key, which is a very detailed one. We have been working a lot uh, on this uh, search key. And on this flowchart, you can see that we had over uh, 10,000 uh, hits and now we at 142. The next step is the full text selection. The other project, is, uh, is on the topic of alcohol and nicotine consumption, which is, very, uh, which is also a very important topic in, in Hungary and in the healthcare. Um, it has been shown that there is a strong positive association between smoking and uh, alcohol use, both on epidemiologic and neuropharmacologic levels. Around 20% of current smokers engage in hazardous drinking, and uh, we also know that cessation outcomes for these patients who smoke and drink alcohol are generally worse than for people addicted only for, to alcohol or uh, smoking cigarettes. And most importantly, there is no cessation programs uh, that are evidence-based for this population, so we have to investigate uh, the efficacy and safety of these interventions to uh, for this population. The clinical question is that which are those interventions that are beneficial in concurrent alcohol and nicotine consumption? The investigated population is uh, people who uh, drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes, and uh, we will compare different kind of interventions, pharmacological, non-pharmacological ones, and also combined intervention for cessation programs. The outcome will be tobacco and alcohol consumption, relapse rate, and hospital admission. 
According to our hypothesis, combined pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions are the most effective um, interventions for this population. The clinical implication is a, is a protocol that can be used widely and can lead to a more effective cessation program in healthcare. Here you can see the preliminary search uh, and the databases and the planned date of the PROSPERO registration. As my third project, I got the opportunity to take part in a, a trial, a clinical trial called REAPPEAR, the co-investigator carried out by Clementina Ochkai. So I would like to uh, say a few words about this uh, project too, which is on the topic of preventing, preventing uh, the recurrent acute pancreatitis by eliminating alcohol and cigarette smoking. Here you can see that on the flow chart that this is the two-arm study and uh, after a standard intervention we will, we will have uh, 182 per, uh, patients in both arms. On this other side of the slide uh, you can see that the protocol has been already published. And finally a few words about the schedule and my part, uh, and my role in this uh, study. Uh, after the enrollment, the intervention uh, group will receive uh, intervention every three months and the visit. And uh, while the um, control group will have one year visit without the intervention, during the intervention they will have a cessation program for smoking and alcohol. And both of the uh, groups will be followed up for two years. Okay, so. Uh, all in all, uh, I would like to thank uh, to Translational Medicine for the opportunity to be here and making steps uh, towards my vision and mission. And, uh, and I would like to thank you for your attention and please do not hesitate to ask questions. <laughs> thank you. What kind of... Um side effects or safety components you wish to search for? Okay, basically um, we would like to involve the topic of safety because if the psychological health is not adequate, that can be harmful for the patient. But uh, in this research, uh, we, we have to take, uh, pay attention to involve articles that are uh, validated and used psychological interventions uh, that, that can help to the patient. Randomization in a study where, you, where your intervention is a lifestyle change or an intervention to change the lifestyle, uh, usually these studies require some thoughts around the patient's preferences. I'll translate that question. If you randomize a patient to the non-intervention arm, once you have explained to the patient that you know there are two options, either you get some small advice or you get some proper advice, and the patient says, when you say, say to the patient, you ended up on the no advice arm, and the patient says, no, I don't want to be on that arm. So that is the patient's preference, and, and lifestyle intervention studies should tackle that problem. Is there any any thoughts around that in the protocol or any, any arrangements for these patients to, 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 to take into well, account their preference? Well, the basic idea is this is the reason we are providing brief interventions for all of the patients. So they will receive uh, intervention and after the two years they, are free, they, they can go for brief, after the brief intervention they can have more intervention. So we will we will give a contact or we will provide opportunity to uh, follow up them after the two years to and provide opportunity for them. And in the study when you actually try to see what happens with those who quit smoker, smoking and not, what is, the, what is the frequency of quitting smoking without any advice? And then also that's kind of up and down as far as I know. I mean, People stop smoking and then they come back half a year later and smoke again and then they stop again and then they are in your control group. So do you go after this? 
Yes, uh, the prevalence is very low. I think it's around 5% who can quit smoking without any help. And uh, this is the reason we will have three months follow-ups and interventions to avoid these ups and downs. So we will provide help to, to avoid this situation. Do you have uh, supportive groups for the patients? Or how can you provide help to them? to carry out this progress. You, you mean the last, the clinical yes, trial Yes, yes, uh, about the clinical trial, yes. Yes, uh, there is no support group, but they go to the clinic and they will have a session with a psychologist or a study nurse in, uh, at every visit. So this is the brief intervention, providing psychological help, uh, psychoeducation, motivational interview techniques.